careful selection of papers, unforgettable packaging, unusual printing and finishing technique choices transform this classic novel into an inspiring multi-sensory experience. Hi everybody, I'm Sabine Lenz, the founder of Paper Specs, with your weekly dose of paper inspiration. Though many have tried their hands over the years at republishing Mary Shelley's 1818 Gothic novel Frankenstein, most of these are undistinguishable books collecting dust. Pledging to bring new meaning to timeless tales, publisher Bond and Grace has, with this special edition art novel, used a variety of papers, clever splashes of color, and specially commissioned artwork to bring this book to life once again. Designed by Bond and Grace and Rachel Gazarian and printed by Envision 3, this hefty tomb arrives in its own customized cigar box packaging, courtesy of my friends at Bindtech Roswell. The packaging alone is both eerie and intriguing, with clear foil and debossing enhancing the lid's artwork, while the title, author and publisher name are all hot foil stamped in purple along the spine. Lifting the lid, I cannot help but be reminded of how Victor Frankenstein raided coffins for the parts that would make up his creation. This is only the first step of making you and me relive the life of the novel's characters. The box's interior is lined with ecological fibers, plush suede-like prestige flock asparagus. Its greenish color, the first sign of a motif of rot and decay that runs throughout this book. Inside, a tuck on an orchid hued ribbon frees the volume from its resting place, revealing just what you'd hope to find in any good gothic novel, a secret compartment. Pulling a second ribbon lifts the compartment lid to unveil an ornate brass letter opener. This will come in handy soon enough, but first back to the book. The shrink wrap volume boosts a simple sticker on the outside that reminds us that this is a limited edition item, copy 25 of 500 to be exact. Unwrap the cover, printed on ecological fibers Rainbow LX Cambric 987, features an illustration based on a microscopic view of mold while a vegan leather spine strip, Ecological Fibers Alpha Cowhide, gives the impression of a musty old journal that might be found on a 19th century shelf. The title and other information rendered in silver hot foil shimmer on the cover as well as the spine. Inside end papers printed on Mohawk via smooth text displays the same illustrations that also grace the front of a note card that accompanies the book. Turning the page reveals an illustrated scene, the word sever printed across it. On closer examination it appears to be a French fold, actually a bound-in trifold, with further text and illustrations hidden inside. But all is not as it appears to be. This section actually mimics vintage books that literally required readers to cut open the pages before reading. Using the accompanying letter opener does not only provide an interactive experience, but also feels like Victor Frankenstein himself, as if I started upon a journey of no return. There are so many other magnificent touches throughout this piece, including original artwork, a hand-numbered flyleaf, a ribbon bookmark that matches the orchid you of the ribbons in the box, and full-page pull quotes that call attention to key points in the story. Especially effective is the use of uncoded Mohawk via felt for the printing of the letters interspersed between the various chapters. The parchment-like feel of the paper combined with the handwritten look of the text makes me feel as if I'm reading authentic 19th century correspondence, providing a powerful contrast to the sappy McCoy silk coated sheets used for the artwork and scholarly notes throughout. Additionally, some pages are flooded with different colored tints to match the mood and actions described in the letter, red when a death has occurred, lavender in moments of love and compassion. There's even an oval mirrored spread, cello glass Mary Silver, that invites the reader to look at themselves and consider the monsters that lurk within. Careful selection of papers, unforgettable packaging, unusual printing and finishing techniques all transform this classic novel into a multi-sensory experience, breathing new life into what is, let's face it, a very old monster. Now, while this art novel used hot foil stamping throughout, there are several other ways in which you can now add foil to your printed project. 
get a quick overview of all your traditional as well as digital options and download our free foil cheat sheet right now. Did you enjoy this video? Then please subscribe to our channel. And of course, it would be amazing if you share it with all your friends. And keep sending me your fabulous printed pieces. I love to feature them.